Welcome back to um, forex trading for beginners. And this will be the part two for uh, uh, currency pairs, right? The, the episode, episode five actually ended uh, abruptly, right? I had some power outage in my, in, in my, in my area. So sorry about that. So let us not waste much time. I, I, I intended to make this one, one episode on major currency. But because of that problem, we are going to do it, uh, have the, the last part, which is part two, right? So the, 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 the previous parts, in fact, part one, we did get what? The, the major currency, right? And then we did the major currency pair, right? We touched on that major currency pair. So I think now that we are here, right? In this part, we are saying that we have about three uh, categories of what? Uh, major uh, currency pairs, sorry. And then we have touched on the major currencies, right? So we are going to the, the cross, what, the crosses, right? And then we move to the word, the, the exotic. So let, let's continue now. The major currency pairs also include the USC. So we always include the USC, the US dollar, right? That's the major currency pairs. So for the, I think we are going to look at it further, right? Now, we are saying that the major currencies have the pairs have USC, the US dollar, to be what a substitute, a substitute, what a substitute currency in that pair, right? It means that any any currency at all that has the US dollar in it means that that currency or that pair is a major one, right? So we, we were looking at it initially from the top there, uh, and then now we are looking at it in depth, right? So. The major ones have the USC dollar as a substituent what currency in that. So that is the what the major currency pairs. So let if, if for, 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 for for visual representation, let's look at it here. Right. So um this one is a major one, this one is a major one, this is a major, this is a major, this is a major, this is a major. And mean that this one is not a major, this one is not what a major, right? So that is it. That is the correction or the thing that we have to look at as well. So that's what the major one, the currency. Now look at the crosses. The cross, the cross currency pairs do not include the US dollar, right? Crosses that involve any of the major currencies, right, are also known as the minors, right? So either the cross or what the minor, right? So that is the main, the same, right? Either crosses or the minor. So what we, the, the, the take home is that if any of the major currencies that we have looked at earlier, right, if any of them uh, is in the pair, that means that is what is actually what a, a minor or a cross, right? So it means that any one of the major currencies with any other pair, right, with any other pair, so it means that this. Um, okay, this is not because we are we are not we are pairing themselves in the same in the same major, major currency. So this is not one of them. So you can just look at it. You can have a, a Google search or YouTube and then have a look at them, right? So any of them with any other pair is what a cross, right? So cross currency do not include the USA, right? Cross that involve any of the major currencies. I also known as what, right? So any of them, any one of them, and then any other pair. Then look at the exotic. The exotic currency consists of one major currency and one major currency from an emerging market, right? So that one, it means that it's not really a popular currency that is traded, right? We have some, some, some of them, we have the name to be funny. If you look at them, you even wonder that, uh, is this really a, um, a currency, right? So that is, I think we have, a picture of them. So don't worry, we are going to look at them. So now the major currencies that we are looking at it, look at see them here. So we have the USA as part of it, the USC as part of it, the US dollar 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 as part of it. That's what major currency. We have the US dollar as a substituent what currency in that pair. So that is, I think now how many of the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? So seven of them, like I said earlier, I wasn't that specific, but 
I told you that it went from seven to what? Eight, right? The reason being that the USA itself is there. The USA dollar is one of the major currencies, right? So you can't peg with itself. <laughs> I, I hope you get that point. USA dollar cannot peg with itself again because they have, we have about eight of the, the currencies, uh, the major currencies, right? The eight of them, and then you can't have another eight current, major currency pairs because the USA is already one of the major. So USA cannot pay with itself to give us eight of them. So that is why it's seven. So I know I knew whatever I, I'm, I was talking about, or in fact I know whatever I am talking about. That is why I said I intention said that we have from seven to what to eight. I knew it, but for this series I don't have to. If I don't take care, I will finish talking about the whole subject or the topic before actually meeting them. I think I've already faced that with the major currency already. You see, I talked about it too much until now that I'm, I'm actually what, uh, meeting them. So I don't want it to be that way. If I don't think uh, you get bored or you get confused, right? Because I know them and I'm trying to talk about it. So I can even be on this page and talk about many things before actually going to read that, 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 that passage or whatever. And I don't want it to be that way. So sorry about that. Please forgive me, bear with me on that. So these are the major currencies. Take note of them. You can even have a screenshot, right? A picture of them, or you can even Google and have a picture of that in your gallery. Your phone should not only be about the social media, watching videos, funny videos. I know it's part of human life. You have to sometimes have really stress. But please invest in your life, right? The phone should actually be a, 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 a platform for you to actually make it in this world, not to make fun of everything. Right, so use your phone wisely. So, this is it now. Um, I don't know if I still have to read about this. You know what? The major, the major, the majors are the most liquid in the world, right? Liquidity is used to describe the level of activity in the financial market. The level, so we are talking about the level how huge, how high that is it. Now, in forex, it's based on the number of active traders buying and selling a specific currency pair that's right, a currency pair and the volume being traded. The more frequently traded something is, the higher the liquidity, the, the, the liquidity, right? So that is what it means. For example, more people trade the USA, we have said that already, the USD, or better still the what, the fiber pay, and at higher volume than the what, the Aussie, right? You look at the, 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 the nickname for the Australian dollar against the, the US dollar, and the nickname is what Aussie or Ox. I know that already. That's why I'm just referring to that, right? So this is more volatile or more traded than this. So that is it. So choosing between the two, if you have to choose between the two, then you have to choose this one, right? Now this is as I'm an, as an, an amateur. That's what I'm saying. Now this means that your your USD is more liquid than what the Aussie. It's as simple as that. A major um, major cross, right? So we are going to look at the major cross, right? Major cross is saying that any of the, the major currencies with any other pair. That's what we read from the outset. So let's see how to do that. Currency pairs that include any two of the major currencies are, are, are S, right? Except the US dollar are known as cross currency pairs or simply as the crosses, right? So currency pairs that uh, include any of the major currencies, right? Except the US, the US. So it means that the major crosses can actually be taken from um, the, the major currencies. Except the fact that it doesn't have to include the word, the USA dollar. So it means that just between the, among the major currencies, you can have the word, the crosses. So that is it. Major crosses are also known as the minus, right? While not as frequently today as the majors, the causes are still pretty liquid and still provide plenty of trading opportunities, right? So we have a look at it. The most actively traded causes are derived from the major three, are derived from the three major non-USD currencies, right? So the Euro, the Japan, that. So what it means is that the crosses get their what? Their pairs from this, from this. So it means that any any of these currencies pairing with any or any any other of the of the majors except the USD, the US dollar is what the crosses, right? So that is it. 
So let's see. So if you take the, the usual courses, it means that the usual, if any, any of the major currencies, right? The euro pair, the euro currency, pairing with any of the, the major currencies, except the US dollar. Take notes, right? The courses, right? So let me let me let me give you a recap. The major currencies uh, have the US dollar in them. That's the major currencies. The major currencies have the US dollar as a subsequent what uh, currency in that pair. That is it. It's as simple as that. And then the crosses, right? Is taken from the major currency, right? With the exception of what the US dollar as what as a subsequent what uh, uh, currency, right? Uh -huh. So it, then, so what is important is that you have to take note of the major currencies. So is the is is the major is, is from this major currency that we can derive what the uh, the major pairs and then the cross the cross the crosses, right? I hope you are not getting confused. I'm taking my time. It may sound confusing, but I think it's because maybe I I know them. I think it's too basic. That is why I, I, I'm 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 finding it difficult that way. But please bear with me, right? So the major currencies are what. Uh, you know them, the major currencies, then you have to know, you have to actually know them. Then when you are done, you have to look at the major what pairs. The major pairs are any pairs with what? The US dollar as a substitute in that. So with that being said, you move to what? The, the crosses, right? You can even say the major crosses or the minus, whatever. Once the, the base red or the key red is what crosses. The crosses are what? The major what? Pairs. Right, the major, the major, sorry, the major currencies uh, accept the US dollar in that. Right, so if you look at this, the euro is a major currency, the franc is also a major currency, right? The euro and then the pound, they are all major. The card is a major, the Aussie is a major, the New Zealand is a major, then whatever. So you see, some, you might see some new uh, currencies in them. Some of them, I don't even know that they're the NOK. I don't even know what it is. I've seen it before, the S, uh, the SEK. I also, I've also seen it in some programs and all that. They even trade that way. I think for them, uh, they, they even trade them more than the currency that the major ones that are, we are even looking at them now, right? So that is it. And then move to the, what? The, what? The yen, the Japanese yen, right? So it means that they also pair with any other major, major what, currency, right? So look, look at them. So what it means is that if you don't know your major currency, please don't move here, you get confused. So you just have the major currency uh, at your fingertip, then you can move the major pairs and then the major crosses or the minor, right? The major crosses is also known as the minor, right? You just look at them, so that is it. It's as simple as that. And don't waste your time too much on this because that's not the, the, the important thing of this, 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 this uh, profession, right? The major currencies are what we are going to trade, but for the amateur, at least I have to have the things what organized, right? Things organized for you. That is why I'm actually t um, teaching this. Most of the mentors will not even waste their time coming to touch on this, right? So that is it. And please, and please again, if you are not, an amateur and but you are intermediate or advanced, please don't waste your time here, right? Don't waste your time here. Because if you are an intermediate or an advanced, whatever I'm doing here may be very boring, very, very boring, right? So please don't waste your time here. And please just move the intermediate or advanced video and then proceed from there, please. So, and then we are going to look at the exotic ones, exotic, right? An exotic currency is a currency from countries which a currency from countries with developing or emerging markets. They are now what's emerging, right? Like developing countries that let's use that scenario. But they are now emerging, now coming up, right? Getting popular and then getting traded. What that is getting the attention. So that is it. So exotic currencies are made up of one major currency that paired with the currency of an emerging economy, right? An emerging economy. So the Brazil. The Mexico, the Chow, the Turkey, the Hungary, or the Hungary, whatever. 
Now, so it means that any of the major what any of the major currencies, you know the major currencies, you see that you realize that the major currency is the key thing here. If you don't know them, you find yourself wanting, right? The major currencies, you should know them. There are eight of them, right? So with that pairing with any currency from the emerging emerging economy, right? And the emerging economy economies are listed here. You have the Brazil, you have the Mexico, you have the child, the Turkey, and then the Hungary, right? So that is it. So if any of the major players are paired with this, then that makes them what? The exotic what? Curves. That is it. Now, basically, an exotic currency includes one major currency alongside an exotic currency, right? The chart below contains a few examples of them. Right? Let, let's know which time. Let's just look at them. We have the USA pairing with the Brazil, the USA pairing with whatever, the Hong Kong, the USA pairing with the Saudi Arabia, the, right? The, Saudi Arabia, we have the US pairing with the Singapore as SGD. We have the US pairing with the what? Um, uh, the South Africa, whatever, Iran, whatever. The Thailand, the Mexico, you see, these are very, they are not popular uh, pairs that are traded. I'm not saying they are not traded, right? They are there, but they are not a popular, or in fact, they are not a focus here. So that is what. I mean, in fact, when you, when you are uh, when you trade usually trade uh, programs, you see that most of them are tied to this, right? And then they have some competition that they even run, and then some of the traders actually make it with this <laughs> this currency, right? To be more 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 profitable than the the major currency that you know, right? You get there in the advanced lessons. I will introduce to them. I will introduce you to them. That is it. So um, we have the major currency pairs and the minor currency or whatever. So I think that should be the, the 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 end of this video, right? So thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. If you didn't understand anything, just comment or better say relax. I know this might sound confusing or whatever, but just look at the key thing, the key words, the key things that. I give you attention to just focus on that on them and then let's proceed to the work the next video thank you very much for watching please like and subscribe and then write to us if you need any assistance with that thank you very much see you in the next uh, episode bye